Welcome back to Crafty Nanny, the channel bringing you original stories with simple crafts designed to engage you and your little one. Remember, there's a new story each week, so come back next Tuesday to see what's new. Today's story is inspired by my friend Melody, who found a visitor in her grapes. Let's turn the page to see what happened. Today's story is Patch, Hedgie and Scoots Meet the Travel Bug by Anushka R. Merrill. Patch, Hedgie and Scoots walked home from playing football in the meadow. Patch, carry me, said Scoot. I can barely carry myself in this ball, said Patch. Tell me about it, said Hedgie. My whole body hurts, she said, stretching her arm. I need a snack, said Patch. Mom saw them coming in and set out some healthy snacks. Thanks, Mom, said Patch. He picked up a bunch of grapes and popped one in his mouth. Delicious, he said. He ate another and heard a little giggle. Patch looked around and saw no one. Hello, said a little voice. He looked down and there was someone in the grapes. Um, Mom, there's someone in the grapes, said Patch. Don't be ridiculous, Patch, said Mom. How can there be someone in the grapes? I don't know, but here she is, he said, sticking out his hand so that Mom, Hedgie, and Scoot could see the little ladybug sitting in his palm. They all stood quietly, staring at the ladybug, unsure of what to say next. The ladybug giggled. Hello? said Mom after a few seconds. The ladybug hopped out of Pat's hand and onto the counter. I'm Lorena Ladybug, explorer extraordinaire, she said. Oh, I see, said Mom. How did you get into our grapes? Well, I'm not entirely sure, said Lorena. You see, I was on my way home after a very long trip. I was heading back from Thailand where my friend Jasper works in the rice paddies. It was wonderful to see an old friend. Jasper took me for a ride through the icky, sticky mud on my last day there. After that, I started heading west, trying to get back home. But since I was already that far east, I decided to make a quick stop in Kenya to see my friend Sophie, who just had a baby. I found them resting in the shade of a zigzag tree. The baby was so cute. I couldn't stay long, though, because I was getting a ride with some backpackers heading north. They said they would take me as far as Egypt. It was too good a deal to pass on. In Egypt, I met a camel named Camille. I told her I was going to Morocco and asked if she knew a place I could stay for a few days. It turned out that she was also going to Morocco to visit her mother. What luck! So I tagged along with my new friend and we made the trip together. We rode under a beautifully painted desert sky until we got to the city. I stayed with Camille's family for two days and then I was on my way home again. Wow, said Hedgie. I'd love to see a painted desert sky. It's magical, said Lorena. After that, I caught a flight to Scotland where I met up with an old buddy of mine. You sure do have a lot of friends, Lorena, said Scoot. Well, when you travel as much as I do, you meet lots of people. Some of them become lifelong friends, Lorena explained. Scoot nodded. So, what did you do in Scotland? asked Patch. William and I toured through the Northern Isles for a few days, and then he dropped me off near Nova Scotia, Canada. Sometime later, I went scuba diving near Florida. It was great fun, until a monstrous blue marlin hooked my suitcase onto his beak and swam away with it. I chased after him for hours until I was running out of air in my tank. I was exhausted and went back to my hotel soaking wet and with no change of clothes. Florida isn't even close to here, said Patch, who was astonished that someone so small had traveled so far from home. Well, the rest is kind of a blur. I was so tired from chasing the marlin that I fell asleep at a picnic. I do remember hearing the family say that they owned a vineyard, though, so someone must have found me in the picnic basket and placed me in the grapes. And then, Mom must have bought your bunch of grapes when she went to the market, said Hedgie. I guess so, said Lorena. I'm happy to have met your family, though. Now, I must fly home. Oh no, you must be tired, said Mom. Please stay tonight and you can leave in the morning. Thank you said Lorena, and she drifted off to sleep in a little matchbox bed on Hedgie's dresser.
Lorena had told him so many wonderful stories of her travels. Hedgie wanted to give her a gift to remember them by. She knew exactly what to give the travel bug. A travel journal that looked like a suitcase. She made it out of a cereal box and a notebook, but had to cut the notebook in half to make it the perfect size for Lorena. The next morning, Lorena flew home, taking her suitcase journal with her. As she walked up the pathway to her house, she thought of how grateful she was to have met so many lovely people on her travels. She took a shower and snuggled in her favorite chair with tea and a few biscuits that Patch had baked for her. This had been a big trip for a little ladybug. She didn't even get to eat the biscuits before she fell asleep. As she drifted off to sleep, she said, Wherever in the world I roam, this will always be my home sweet home. The end. Take a look at all the cool places Lorena Ladybug traveled to. Where would you like to visit? Make your own travel journal and write down what you do this summer, whether it's going to the park, playing in the sprinklers, or finding bugs in your yard. Or maybe you have an idea for a story. Tell us on Facebook and Instagram and we just might feature it here. Keep crafting and we'll see you next time.